Hello, you jerkin wearing lizard fingerers. Jim Sterling here, and this is D4 Dark Dreams Don't Die. This is the PC version of the game. I've been given a nice little opportunity to uh, demo it out, and I took that opportunity because it's an excuse. I was going to say the word excuse and somehow tripped over that word magnificently. Uh, it's an excuse to play it again, so I'm going to take it. Let's go. Now, this is played entirely. They say you can use a controller as well, but it is also played entirely with the mouse. Uh, if you played the Xbox One version, there was a lot of connect controls, motion controls using your hand. Uh, so we're going to see how this works out. I'm curious. <clears throat> Let's go. Incidentally, I interviewed Sweary65 on thegymquisition.com. If you want to read that, we talk about the differences in the PC version and the Kinect and, and a lot of the other sort of uh, potential issues that game had on the Xbox One. Uh, but we're going to... What are we going to do? We'll do some of the adventure, play a part of the adventure from the prologue. I guess that's this is the demo version, I guess, so we're doing uh, whatever they give us, I guess. Let's go. This is going to be a thing that we can play. So yeah, like you see, I'm pressing click on the mouse to grip, uh, and in the Xbox One version, you just gripped with your own hand. It worked surprisingly well, actually. <clears throat> so if you didn't play that version, move that hand out of the way for now. Unlike Deadly Premonition, I believe Access is, is Access Games is fully handling this port, so it's already in the right resolution and looks decent, so it's it's ahead of the Deadly Premonition port, which was initially a a pretty bad job. But here we go anyways. This is our fellow. The physical embodiment of Boston here, having fallen into a tub. Okay. <gasps> I didn't see you again this time either. Little Peggy. I always say that when I wake up in a bathtub. Oh, that didn't work. Um, I'm trying to remember how this works. I think you're supposed to grip those things. My name is David Young. Former knock with the Boston PD. And now a detective who searches the past. Which makes sense. My likes include 100% de agave tequila. My dislikes are mainly drugs. And chewing gum. Two years ago, someone killed my wife. Since then, I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain, very special power. Yes, indeed you do. Head is full of memories of my wife. There's a middle mouse for Clicky. And the bullet that robs me of it. That said, looking for D. What happened in this place? Ha uh ha. -huh. On that day. So, just re familiarizing myself, because obviously I'm used to using my fist for this game. Used to using my fist in most situations. That's it, we just hover over it. There we go, no need to grip or anything. Although we can just grab there to do this. Okay. So the contextual... A gift is an expression of emotion. Controls work nicely. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. 
Mementos. So this is all backstory stuff. So yeah, um, I was never really enamoured with the uh, actual controller stuff. Uh, using a, an Xbox One controller on the Xbox One version, it worked much better with Kinect, and I was worried it would lose that uh, with the mouse, but so far this is actually working out quite nicely. I'm going to sneeze Little in a second. Pig. That's going to be... <coughs> uh, I sneezed and said brilliant at the same time. That was quite powerful. I'm going to keep that in. Everyone has their own place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library, the register in the supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection, in bed, on a golf course, a kitchen. For some, it's the whole town. Typical. I mean, this mirrors my own day she died, bathroom experiences. This has been my place to work. Tempts me every time I'm in a bathroom. Sit on a toilet seat, look at a shoe, say little Peggy, get shot with a pretend gun. It's a, it's a living nightmare, I tell ya. Well, let's get out of here. That'll take a little getting used to. No results this time either. This case is in the clear. So we do clicky to walk. You can look around. Clicky to grab, grab. Messy. There's only one thing I need after work. Tequila. Straight up. Nothing mixed in. Aren't you a badass? <laughs> That's one thing I love is stimulation for my lead built brain. I just love how it turns the mundane into something needlessly dramatic. You always look so happy drinking that. That doesn't. I wish I could have a drink too. That doesn't sound romantic. Does it really taste that good? This idea that he was so happy just drinking tequila straight all the time. It's kind of kind of a maybe I'll just try a little ghastly backstory. Sorry, I know some people don't like me talking in between the dialogue and cutscenes. I just got so much to say. So much. Look, I'm just slamming everything down. How is everything in this room not broken? With him just slamming things, throwing things. Anyway, boop. The drug real blood. I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. I do every single day. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. Time. With no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. With magic. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. And when I do, oh, Peggy, 
Amanda? Let's do walkabouts! Yeah, I'm liking how this feels, actually. Anyway, here comes fun. Okay. It worked. It did all right. Oh god, what are we doing? Ah shit, fuck, no, drag, drop. Okay, gotcha. Down. You can't escape now. This is amazing. Okay, that was. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And well, that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. Oh, that was that. Okay, well, that was that was quick. Um, but that, was, that action scene was more fun than I thought it would be. Um, again, like I said, it was designed for motion stuff. So you kind of feel like, Gameplay takes a bit of a back seat to, um, you know, just the gimmick of the motion. But actually doing it with the mouse is strangely satisfying. I enjoy that. Um, there is some more to this demo, though. So there is an action sequence. We'll give that a go. Ahem. <laughs> action so this is uh, a bit shorter but together we should have a worthwhile video at least <clears throat> okay just clearing my throat for the excitement that's about to unleash get out here now Fuck. Fuck. This oh I do remember this being fun Again, typical plane journey for me. Bad. Real bad. Bolt, I said. Uh. You're never, ever, ever gonna get my face, guy. Did not. Bitch. Antonio Zapatero. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. You're this young I've been hearing so much about. Not like I'm gonna spill the slop on D. <laughs> spill the slop on D. Hey, papi. <laughs> so how about you die, fucker? No, come on, go. There, there, up. Damn it. Wait. Okay. There's no way to stare and choose the chair. It's a little awkward at times, but if you get into the flow, it works quite well. <laughs> so ridiculous. I think it's my own... I'm tripping myself up with these mouth movement, mouse movements because I keep instinctively moving it to the center of the screen before uh, doing it. I try and be more naturalistic than that. I mean, looking at the bottom, you can actually see the direction coming up as well. Good lord. I love this game. I'm knocking this one out of the park. No hitting back at the picture. <sighs> 
What a delight. Okay, well that was that. Um, that's D4 on PC. I'm, I, I'm digging it. I think once I get used to those mouse controls, I'll enjoy that. As you see, it's coming soon. I shall be replaying it, because I originally reviewed the Xbox One version for The Escapist. Um, and obviously, it would be nice to have that a review of it on the Jimquisition, which of course is hopefully, fingers crossed, my sort of my final lasting legacy of, of games criticism. Uh, so it'd be nice to have that on there. Um, so I'm looking forward to the excuse. Now, if they just do another Hyrule Warriors so I can do the same for that, that'd be great. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go now. Hope you enjoyed this uh, look at D4 on PC. Um, and do check out the interview with Swery on thegymquisition.com. Uh, we got other stuff there, cool stuff. Witcher 3 review went up. Uh, got an interview with Playtonic, who are doing ukulele. And we should... I sent the questions off, so hopefully with this time this week, fingers crossed, we'll have an interview with... Um, with Koji Igarashi. I know that's pronounced wrong, I know. I'm sorry. But we've got an interview with him. And that's coming soon to talk about Bloodstained. So all sorts of cool stuff happening. I'm going to go and, I don't know, have a wank and drink Monster Energy. Caffeine-free Monster Energy. Don't worry about that. It's, it's way worse for you than the caffeine one. Uh, I'm off. Bye. <laughs>